Hello, my name is Dr. Funda Goldman. I'm a licensed naturopathic physician with a private practice in Stratford, Connecticut. I've also been a certified yoga instructor and have been leading people um, through meditations for over 15 years. So today I'd like to share with you a meditation for gratitude and connection. So find a comfortable place to sit or lie down and make sure that your spine is straight. It helps to relax the nervous system. Okay, so once you get comfortable, close the eyes and take a deep breath in. And exhale. Take another breath in. With each following breath, just allow the body to relax a little bit more. Let the mind go, let the heart soften. As you relax a little bit more, just naturally allows your breath to go a little bit deeper into the belly. As you relax, it allows the nervous system to release any tension. Breath just on its own starts to slow down. And as you take your next breath in, just really start to become aware of what that really means air that you breathe in. It's all around us, but it's clear, transparent. So it's sometimes easy to overlook, sometimes easy to forget how important and vital that is. Since you take a deep breath in, Offer a bit of gratitude, the air, molecules that enter the body, circulate through the body, nourish the body and the mind. If you're able to take a breath, not everybody can. They have difficulty with it sometimes. Offer a bit of gratitude for your lungs that are functioning, supporting you. And as you breathe in, offer a bit of gratitude for the brain and central nervous system, signaling for the lungs to breathe in and out, coordinating and out so well that you actually for the most part, can forget that you need to breathe and just go about your day. So the air that we breathe, the lungs that breathe in and out for us, the brain that coordinates all this, but these are all gifts of nature. What gifts of nature have you received today? And Maybe just through the quickness or pace of your day so far. It's kind of overlooked, really. Were you able to open your eyes? Take in some natural light, a little bit of sunlight. The sun setting rhythms for your internal daily rhythms, nightly rhythms. so that you can be productive during the day and then rest at night. Just offer gratitude to the sun. Maybe you already had something to drink this morning. If you did have something to drink, no matter what you had to drink, the basis of that is water. 
Were you able to have something to drink today? Were you able to drink something that was pure and fresh and clean? Everybody does. Offer a bit of gratitude to the earth, water systems, the oceans, the rivers, lakes, whole water cycle. Which you get to experience here in its brief form in your glass every day. And what about the flowers and the trees and the grass? Oh, some color, some brightness, some beauty, some shade. Maybe there were some animals that showed up today for you. Something out in the yard, a squirrel, a bright colored bird. There may be some animals live with you in your home. A cat, a dog, a lizard. They help us stay connected. They offer us wonder. They offer us companionship. Offer a bit of gratitude. So in many ways, nature is offering gifts every day. Support our well-being. Physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Did you have something to eat today? It was just a bite or two of something. Do you remember what you had to eat? Were you rushing and trying to get things done? Whatever you had to eat today, even if it was just a bite or two, just offer a bit of gratitude. You had something to support body and just bring to mind perhaps one of your favorite foods. Or when was the last time you really looked at it, took it in before you started? Eating it, putting it in your mouth, digesting it. Colors, texture, presentation. So offering your senses some beauty, some stimulation. Offer the two. Where did your food come from? Was it something that you grew in your backyard? Supported, nourished by the rain and the wind and sun and night? Or did you go to a store and buy something there? So some farmer somewhere grew your food. Offer them a bit of gratitude. And then some other people decided to create a store, manage a store, organize a store so that you would have a place to go, find food, buy food. And offer them a bit of gratitude. What about the people who? Drive the trucks delivering food back and forth. 
bring it from the farm to the store and then you brought the food home from the store perhaps by walking or your bicycle or your car somebody designed the car or bike or the shoes that you wore somebody, somebody spent the time right had the knowledge and the gifts of creating something like that designing something like that to support you they put their life energy into it so all the people who are involved in the whole flow and the whole cycle how the food showed up in your on your plate every person in that line a bit of gratitude And what about the people in your life? Did you acknowledge somebody today? Say hello, good morning, offer a smile, a handshake. It's somebody to connect with, even on some small, minuscule level, some momentary interaction. Maybe an interaction you often take for granted. Just take a moment to offer gratitude to that person. And as you're listening to this, guided meditation. Maybe you're sitting on a chair or on the floor or on the carpet or in a bed. And there's somebody who designed that chair or carpet or bed. And other people who produce the raw materials for that chair or raw that had to be created. other people drove trucks to deliver the materials and the products to you. It's a whole chain of people involved. Often added to their service. What about other people in your life? Maybe you didn't see today. You've crossed your path at some point. Maybe just for a moment, maybe just for a day, maybe for quite a long time. And they may still be in your life. Or maybe they no longer are. But they offered you something. Maybe it was an insight or a teaching. A smile or a cup of coffee. Some small offering, maybe some big one that supported you in that day. Maybe it actually redirected your life into a better future. Let that person or those people come to mind. Offer them a bit of gratitude, service. In their own way, all of these people wanted the best for you, want to support you, help you make your life better somehow. And even people who are found challenging in life. Ones maybe you're happy to not remember. What did they offer you in those challenging moments? Is it a chance to grow? 
Was it a chance to start something new? Was it a chance to develop a better version of yourself? Was it a chance to develop a deeper relationship with yourself or some higher force, some higher power? Helped you develop your faith during challenging times. I'll take a moment to offer gratitude. Take a moment here. Again, let your mind stay open and let your heart soften. Just see if there's anybody else who might just pop into your awareness right now and maybe see their face or hear their voice. It's those people that in your mind, in your heart, you feel were the most special, the ones who helped the most, the ones who helped no matter what. The ones that are often the hardest to let go of. And it's their time. And offer them a bit of gratitude. For every conversation you had, every hug that they offered, for every kiss on the cheek, every laugh, smile that you shared. Offer a bit of gratitude for the gift of their presence in your life. So really, you're always supported, even when you feel most alone, even when you feel most disconnected. Nature is always supporting you. The community, strangers, challenging people, this closest and deepest connection with Whole network, always at work, maybe imperceptible at times, maybe we just simply overlook. If we just take a moment to drop in, tune into our hearts, let our minds relax, let our bodies relax, and just stay open. There's so much to be grateful. So much connection all the time. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Take another deep breath in and exhale. Slowly start to bring your awareness back to this time and place. Start to wiggle your fingers and toes to help you make that transition back. You might stretch your arms, stretch your legs. You feel ready, go ahead and open. So thank you for taking a few minutes to tune in and to follow through with this meditation. I hope that it's been helpful for you in knowing that you're always loved, always supported, always connected. Till next time. Namaste.